In this video, we're going to be looking at how we multiply matrices together. Now, the first thing that we really need to make sure that we're aware of is that if you have a multiple of a matrix, so if I multiply a matrix like this by 3, then this works in that the 3 applies to each element in the matrix. So 3 lots of 2, 3 lots of 5, 3 lots of 4, and 3 lots of 3. Okay, So a matrix can be multiplied, uh, will have a coefficient on the outside and multiplies each element by that number. But really what we want to know is how can we multiply two matrices together. So if I have a matrix like 2, 5, 3, 1, and I want to multiply this by 1, 7, minus 2, 8. For example, now it doesn't work in a way really that we would particularly like. Um, so it would be lovely if we could just do 2 times 1 is 2, 5 times 7 is 35, etc. Okay? It would be great if we could do that, but we can't. Uh, it doesn't work that way. How it works is that you multiply each of the rows by each of the columns. So each of the rows in the first matrix by the columns in the second. And then add those results together. So what happens is that you multiply the 2 by the 1. So we're going to get 2. And you've got the 5 by the minus 2. So that would be minus 10 and we add those together. So effectively, a lot of this is, a good way of doing it is 2 by 2, okay, in this case. And then, for the next row, the next column, we've got 2, 5 multiplied by the 7 and the 8. So 2 times 7 is 14, 5 times 8 is 40, and we add them together. Then we drop down a row, because we've done that row by both of the columns. So we're now going to do this row by both of the columns. So 3 times 1 is 3, and 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. Then we've got the final row multiplied by the final column. 3 times 7 is 21, 1 times 8 is 8. And then we can simplify this. 2 take away 10 is minus 8, 3 take away 2 is 1. 14 plus 40 is 54, 21 plus 8 is 29. And so this is the product of these two matrices. Now, that's how we do it. Now, there are some limitations to what matrix you can multiply by which, what other matrix. Okay? So there are a few limitations to this. This worked perfectly. Okay? It's a little bit of a convoluted method, but... We need to keep in mind that some matrices just won't multiply together. So let's look at a couple of examples. Um, let's look at this matrix multiplied by um, that matrix. And then let's look at this same matrix multiplied by this one on its side. Okay, so in this first example, what we have is a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, now these cannot be multiplied together. The reason why is because when I multiply the the first row by the first column, I find I have two numbers multiplying by multiplying uh, with three numbers. So because that number of elements is not the same, I can't really multiply that by that. And so I cannot multiply these two matrices together. If, however, I'm looking at this, where I've just flipped this matrix over, I'm multiplying the 3 and the 7 by the 3 and the 2. So that should work fine. 
So, in actual fact, it really depends on how many columns the first one has by how many rows the second one has. If that number is the same, then we can multiply them. So we would have 3 times 3 is 9, plus 7 times 2, so plus 14. Don't know if I'm going to have enough space, we'll see. Uh, then I've got 3, 7 by 6, 4, so 3, 8, 6, is, uh, eight. six is 18. 7, 4 is 28. Then I'm going to have 3, 7 multiplied by 9, 5, so 3, 9 is 27. And 7, 5 is 35. Just. 5 and 4 by 3 and 2, so 15 plus 8. Then 5, 4 by 6, 4, so 30 plus 16. And then 5, 4 plus, by 9, 5, so 45 and uh, 20. So in the end, we have 9 plus 14 is 23, 15 plus 8 is 23. 18 plus 28 is uh, 46, 30 plus 16 is 46, 27 plus 35 is 62, 45 plus 20 is 65. Okay, so what you can see here is that the number of rows and columns makes a difference when you're multiplying. It's not just a clear cut case that if you don't have two matrices of the same order you can't multiply them together. That's not true. It just depends that if the number of columns in the first matrix is the same as the number of rows in the second, then it works.